Hey everybody, Aaron here. Welcome back to another anime review. Today we look at Boku no Hero second season, episode three. So, this episode, I, I mean Deku, holy shit. Deku is definitely going to be probably one of my favorite characters in general. Like, I mean, first season, Deku was your typical character. You know, he was your kind of, I don't want to say whiny or anything like that, but more so he was, you know, the crybaby, the one that he had a lot to learn. You know, he, he, he gained the power and he really didn't know how to use it or utilize it at, at all. Still kind of doesn't know even now. But his character growth has been something amazing to see because he's badass now. I mean, the fact of what he did this episode with, you know, taking the shield that he got from part of the robots and then using it on the minefield and shooting himself forward into first place, essentially, past, you know, everyone else, it's, that was crazy to me. That was awesome. Uh, visually, this, this episode was awesome and stunning. Um, you know, I, I think just in general, the second season of Boku no Hero has actually shown that, you know, this is what happens when a company starts putting more money into something that has done very well. And, you know, that's why there's no excuse when you have a second season for any show. It should always be better quality. And we're getting that with this season, definitely. Um, you know, in terms of anything else to say, I think the probably the best part besides the minefield sequence was the actual ending for me. And the reason being is that after we get the tally of everyone that's, you know, in scoring range, of course, obviously Deku actually did hit first place, which was like amazing in itself and I love that All Might's like surprised that in a way he's surprised but at the same time he's like yeah you know I, I expected that of him like come on dude you didn't expect that you, you expected him to do good he even talked to the episode how he says you know just get past it no matter what just get into the next place that's all I don't think you expect him to get the first place I don't think a lot I didn't really be honest with you, I didn't expect him to get first place I thought he'd probably be like top three but I didn't think he'd be first place now I do love the revelation though that Getting in first place was a double-edged sword, and definitely a very big double-edged sword. So, he gets 10 billion points associated to him for the next round, which is like a battle royale type thing. And the person to take him down gets those 10, 000, uh, 10 billion points. So, that means that now Deku has all 42 members of this game after him now for first place, essentially. They want first place from him, and by defeating him, they garden her first place. So... I, I have to say that this is going to be very interesting because I'm very curious what episode 4 is going to do. I, you know, will Deku be able to even survive for that long? Will he, you know, does he get like maybe a head start? Because honestly, if everyone just goes at him at the gate, he's not going to, he's not going to survive. He's going to have to use his power and he's probably just going to tap himself out really early on. And he'll probably get hurt from doing that. So I'm very curious what will happen. Anyways, um, guys and girls, that's it for this review. It's pretty short because I really don't have much more to say about this episode. I really did enjoy it a lot. And besides, you know, the whole sequence of events happening up to that part, it was just a solid episode all around. Um, now, Attack on Titan will be late today, unfortunately, because I do have to go somewhere. Um, I will have Arrow Manga Sensei out probably on time, hopefully. I'm not promising that, but I'll try to get that on time. Uh, also, join me and several other people. We're going to be doing a YouTuber live, uh, live stream tonight on Alita Kino's channel. Um, definitely go follow me on Twitter. You can go actually find her page from there. Um, and I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day. I'm going to go back to sleep because I'm tired. It's really early in the morning. So have a good one, everyone. Bye-bye.